Say this with me. I am more than capable of reaching my goals. What's up, Define Squad? Welcome and welcome back if you are not new here. It's your girl, Alex, at Defined by Alex. Here on this channel, we are defining our lives and building our dreams, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to stay motivated as a small business owner with some realistic tips, okay? I know that starting a business can be very scary. It can seem very uneasy and unknown. And not gonna lie to y'all, it is actually all of those things okay but one thing that I know I can relate to is how it is very hard to stay motivated as a small business owner especially if you don't have the support that you may want so let me go ahead and share with you some tips that I developed in staying motivated as a small business owner and how I get through the obstacles that I face today so the first tip I'm going to discuss when it comes to staying motivated is going to be you have to watch the company that you keep now this is not new to a lot of us right we've heard this in our families in the community pretty much everywhere where we was around people who told us to watch the company that you keep that is still applicable when it comes to running a business especially when you know that your company that you may currently have may not be on the same page it's not riding the same wave okay and you know it's hard for them to see you do different things when it comes to staying motivated the way that you keep your circle is going to be important because you're going to be able to relate to people when times get hard. Girl, running this business is hard and I don't know how people do this. I know for me, I am so thankful for my best friend because she is actually running her business and growing her business as well. And talking to her makes my hard day seem very minimal because I have someone who understands my language. I have someone who understands the struggle, okay? And so when it comes to staying motivated as a small business, owner just keep in mind and be mindful of the company that you keep because you don't need anybody crushing your dreams you don't need anybody putting their fear onto you okay and you need people who are going to understand when you may not always be responsive so things like that let's keep going so the second thing you can do when it comes to staying motivated as a small business owner and that is to recognize that you want to change this is one of the realest things you're going to have to do because when you receive that you want to change, your brain activates on a whole different level. The moment I wanted to change, the old version of me was not available. She had to go because I really wanted to learn how to grow a business. I really wanted to learn how to make t-shirts. And most importantly, I wanted to be able to really tap into a different version of myself that's gonna constantly keep growing, keep leveling up, keep elevating, all that stuff, okay? You have to be open to change because that's how you're gonna unlock different opportunities, the new money, a whole lot of stuff that you may want, you have to be open to change first. Okay, so the third way that you can stay motivated when it comes to being a small business owner, and this may be something that isn't applicable to all of you, but I know I'm talking to certain people. When it comes to being motivated, you're gonna have to get uncomfortable. When you're uncomfortable, different things inside you feel, you feel anxious, or you may not want to feel this for a long time. So when you're uncomfortable, something in your body just switches like you literally are like I don't want to be in this position anymore so I need to fix it right so staying motivated sometimes means that you're gonna have to be uncomfortable because it lights the fire under your booty and that's what you want to another way you can stay motivated is join like-minded circles when it comes to starting something new especially if you are someone who you're the only one in your friends group you're the only one in your family we're first generation entrepreneurs okay so when it comes to being motivated we need to join the circles that are already having the conversations that we are wanting to have we need to pop in these Facebook groups we need to hop on these whatever YouTube channels or YouTube live that you like because then you're gonna be able to share the same perspective that's gonna help you grow and motivate you in the way that you may be looking for you guys know that I'm a part of t-shirt millionaires so shout out to Charles and all the t-shirt millionaires 
millionaires out there. And when I joined that group, I knew that it was just home. Like I knew it was where I needed to be because I did not know a lot of things when I started making t-shirts and running this business. And there are always things that I can learn, I can improve on, I can elevate. You guys get the gist. So when it comes to staying motivated, I highly recommend you that you join like-minded circles because nine times out of 10, what you're going through, someone in that circle has already gone through and they can help you by either getting out of it, getting through it, changing it, all that good stuff. Okay, so I saved the best tip for last. When it comes to staying motivated, you guys, celebrate everything. I don't know who needs to hear this, but when you need to feel motivated, that means you haven't celebrated yourself enough. You see these balloons? I bought these balloons because I celebrated myself hitting 300,000 views on a video. As a matter of fact, it's probably the same video that brought you guys to my channel in the first place. This is what I did. I worked hard and so therefore, I rewarded myself. I celebrated my win. I did not let myself go from one goal to the next without stopping to smell the roses. So when it comes to motivating yourself, celebrate all your wins because you're gonna keep wanting to have that feeling of being rewarded. So therefore, you're gonna mentally hustle a little bit harder. You're gonna wake up a little bit earlier. You're gonna learn how to listen your distractions because when you celebrate your win, it motivates you even more. All right, Define Squad. So that wraps up today's video on how to stay motivated as a small business owner. If you guys like more videos like this, then of course leave me a like, comment down below, and always subscribe if you like what you see here, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys stay motivated from here on out or find ways that you can keep the motivation building as you're growing your business. But before I go, I wanted to let you know that if you guys are liking this shirt that I'm rocking in today's video, then go ahead and hit the link in the description box. You also get 15% off if you join my email listing. So that's it for today's video, y'all. Don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and always choose yourself first, and I'll be back in my next video. The second thing that you can do when it comes to staying motivated, <laughs> hello? <laughs> Goodness, I can't. Blah, blah, blah.